Hello everyone. Uy, oh, Dios. <laughs> uh, hello everyone. Welcome to another video blog. In today's episode, I'm gonna talk to you about all the gear that I'm carrying on a 10 day backpack hunt that we have done here in the Rocky Mountains for bears. So stay tuned and I'll do a gear dump as soon as I get up. As I was mentioning you guys, I wanted to take advantage to share all the gear that I have been using during the, this, this hunt. To get you a little bit in context, we have been hunting in the Rocky Mountains for black bear on a spring hunt. It's early May, so it's the first two weeks of May where we have been hunting. We have been 10 days, everything on. It, it has been a full backpack hunt. So instead of doing everything at home, what I brought, I might as well take down the whole backpack apart, tell you exactly what I brought. Here is the final pack out. We have a bunch of bear meat inside and it was a hell of a heavy pack so 52 kilos i just uh, weighed it so 116 pounds and i'm gonna go i'm gonna jump in and and share the whole the whole equipment the hunt is gonna be served by go hunt or by brian cole greedy bowman that we have been hunting with him and you guys should be looking forward to that hunt because we have some epic footage okay no more talking Let's start taking this backpack apart. So first of all, we have been hunting with rifles on this hunt. So this is the rifle that I have been using. It's uh, well, this is a rifle cover from Stealthy Hunter from Ryan that has been super handy to use and has protected the rifle a lot. The rifle is a Bergara B14 Wilderness in six and a half Creedmoor with a Leupold Scope BX6 that goes from 3 to 18 magnification. Sweet setup, it did uh, it worked perfectly and also equipped here on my belt with the Spartan Precision bipod that it's really light, comes really handy, always ready, ready to go. Ammunition we have been using the Hornady ELDX and what else? A couple of pads for sitting for being in camp one is from stealthy hunter the one from kuyu for cooking for glassing we have been using this all the time water bottle super handy i'm missing here that uh, brian was carried that the um, the steri pen to always as soon as we get water from a stream we will just make sure that all the bacteria are dead so we don't have any stomach issues but one liter of water what else in here? So on the upper lid of this backpack, the backpack is a Kuyu Pro LT 7000. I think it has worked amazing. Like the loads that we have been hiking with have been pretty heavy and it has performed great. So on the upper lid, I typically will carry the handy stuff. This you can also like take it apart and leave it inside the tent when you think uh, you are not going to need it and a bunch of camera equipment so this is a 70 to 200 lens pretty heavy more camera equipment filming hands can suck here is the the lunch bag for the day so every day i have packed what i have to eat during the day i will have a dinner dehydrated meal to have at camp and also for breakfast but to the field i will carry what is my lunch and we are targeting food wise i think it was like 3500 calories a day we are covering a lot of country we are working out with a lot of weight on the packs and it's amazing the amount of energy that you need so i'll carry that the food pretty handy more camera equipment this is a battery pack we have carried two battery packs of 10,000 I think so two battery packs for the 10 days and it has been enough to charge the phone the inreach the ca camera equipment I haven't needed to charge it because I carried uh, seven different batteries and I was not the main guy in filming 
This is a glassing support for the binoculars to glass. We have done a lot of glassing, so it has been very handy. Some sunglasses, these ones from Leopold, over here, and that's all. Here on the side, I typically had the rifle here, so I want the side areas to be really accessible. On one of the sides, I will be using the tripod, that is how I, that I'm using right now for filming. And on the other side, so I have a spotting scope, that it's not mine, it's Ryan's. That we have been taking two spotting scopes for the four of us, so kind of trying to distribute that weight between the different people that we were hunting. The spotting scope, and on this side, I will carry the clothing that I want to have like really, really handy, which will be, this is the Super Down Pro jacket. Very light, but at the same time, uh, a lot of insulation. You can like put it in any single pocket. It's super, super light. And also on the side here, really important, the rain gear. In this case, I have been using the True Guts TR rain gear really light i mean for this type of hunts you want the lightest and we were not expecting much rain but it did the opposite we had rain we had snow so it has been quite a different spring bear hunt here the in reach to be able to communicate with home and in case of an emergency super handy let's take some of the big stuff here is the shelter uh, that we i'm carrying it but we will be two persons using this this shelter Okay, so this will be the pack rain cover. It's really important in these hunts to, even if Brian brought a stove for, for the TP, to try not to get wet and to try to maintain always ourselves and our equipment as dry as possible. This is the rain cover for the pack. And here will be the whole skin and head of the, of the bear that we're gonna take apart and take care of it now in a bit. What else here inside the pack? So this will be, I have, I always, take everything divided in these different bags. Some of them, I use them also for meat bags at the end. So you kind of use for both. You carry the food and as soon as the food starts to, to get lower, you typically hunt the animal and you can use that bag for as meat bags. But in this one, here is a, a bunch of extra meat bags with the bone, the whole bear. So now it takes way less time. And here will be the lunches. This is like rubbish. But as I mentioned, we were targeting like 3,500 calories a day. I'm also carrying a long spoon, coffee cup and a bottle. This is the stirry pen to like clean all the bacteria from the water. Super useful. Another spoon and a lighter. And I have there the, the stove that Brian was carrying and we were sharing the stove uh, each, each of us. And basically... For dinner, we will have a, a meal from Peak Refuel and, for, and a breakfast in early in the morning from Peak Refuel and the rest will be like snacks, some jerky, cheese, energy bars and all that to get to those, those calories. Okay, so in this dry bag, I'm carrying extra clothing. So this will be some down pants, great for camp, great if it gets like really, really cold. I will have also some merino underwear, also if it gets cold, cold and for sleeping. Extras, I'm carrying some underwear and another merino 145 shirt and a pair of socks, that's all, that's the extra. So as soon as I get to the tent, I will switch my socks to get on dry ones and I will change the merino to also get on some dry clothing because at the end you end up sweating and all that. This is a net for bags. We haven't got any, any bags, but it can be, get pretty bad here in the spring, so just in case. And a tiny towel. And here will be not an emergency kit, but I have here my toothbrush, vitamins, a bunch of pills and uh, for headache, for diarrhea, for stomach, for antibiotics, a bunch of pills in case you fall sick. And this typical, this bag, I will not carry with me. I have another emergency kit in here for more serious stuff like cuts and all that. that. That one I will carry all the time with me, but this one will stay in camp with the extra clothes. Okay, so here on another dry bag, I will carry camp stuff, slippers, 
I know they are not necessary, but they have been super, super useful. The sleeping bag, the Kuyu one that it's rated for, I think it's zero degrees. A mattress, highly don't recommend this mattress. I blow it out in day two. It's really light, it's the Thermal Rest Neo Air Uber Lead, but for the type of terrain that we are camping, I think it's a bit too risky and, and it, it fail on day on the middle of the hunt. And also this is this will be like a floor to try to even protect better the mattress in case there is anything to put underneath the, the mattress. So that will be all my camping stuff. Here inside, I think that's all. I have a, another load of meat, of the bone meat. In here, in one of the, in a meat bag, these backpacks have a meat, I mean, you can put the meat between the bag and the, and the frame, but since it was not that much volume, I prefer to put it inside. They were pretty dry already, so it's not that the backpack was gonna get bloody. All right, so meat here, and here in the internal pockets, I'm carrying a headlamp, another uh, headlamp, this one from Pix, and the other one was from Petzl. So two headlamps just in case one fails. This is the Kestrel, the skinny knife, uh, a bunch of rope, like a little bit like thicker, like this is four millimeters, but another one of two millimeters that we run out of. Two water bladders, so they become really handy, especially when you don't have water close to camp. You can just load this up. This is like two, liter, two liters and two liters, so four liters of water. You can fill this up and have enough water for for a day. So if, in case you don't come really close to a stream, toilet paper, one roll of toilet paper for 10 days have been enough. So yes, so you know. And here is some documents and licenses on a dry bag and also the global rescue information just in case something happens that it always stays dry. And some baby wipes and some more baby wipes and on the bottom pocket here of the backpack i'm carrying the emergency kit this one is for serious stuff for like cuts and everything this one will be always on my pack and what else here upper pocket more camera equipment stuff batteries chargers and i mean battery equipment takes a lot of weight and an effort but it's what it is. Here on the pocket, uh, I have a beanie, a couple of neck gaiters, some gloves, like thicker gloves. These are the Yukon, so waterproof with a bit of insulation, so they work really nice. Another mid bag, uh, another beanie, especially like for sleeping, a thicker one that I really enjoy. And this is pretty much it. Now here on the side pouches, I will bring some sunscreen, some lip balm and some like energy bars to have handy as I ha I'm hiking. Here is for the Spartan bipod. And finally here on the other side, I have the Leatherman multi-tool. They are super useful. You have like a saw, you have pliers, you have a bunch of things. I will carry also some working gloves. These are the Attack. Love these gloves for like hiking and all that. And some ammunition so 10 rounds plenty of ammo plus the three rounds underneath the rifle chamber i think it's enough for one one animal i also have here some ear protection and this is a spartan adapter for the tripod to be able to shoot like in really steep terrain and with me i don't know what else like the bino harness Binoculars, rangefinder, Allen key for the Leopold rifle scope, wind checker, the boots, the Yukon Gators, attack pants, and Merino 145, and the strong fleece 280. That's what we have been using, and this is all the gear that we brought. Plenty of gear, everything has worked great. I'm super happy. I don't think I will be changing anything. Hope you guys enjoy. This video was useful and looking forward to see the full movie of this trip because I think it's going to be pretty epic. Any questions, just please leave, us on, leave it on the comment and I will try to, to explain it in more detail. Thanks all for watching. Bye.